Richard and Serge, thank you so much for that two out of four, 10 years of the journal Food Security, some key trends, what can we learn? We have two discussants. Our first discussant is Suresh Babu. Suresh is a senior research fellow and head of capacity strengthening at IFRI and has been engaged in supporting many journals over the years. Suresh, we look forward to your remarks. Thank you, Rajul. I just, uh, we don't normally use uh, PowerPoints for uh, discussions, but I just want to put this slide up there for you to see what is the global kind of discussion, where the global discussion is going on in the food security thematic area. And these are the uh, latest reports, if you can um, recognize them. Uh, the high-level panel uh, report, and you have Eat Lancet report, and uh, the National Academy uh, Association report, and they are all uh, coming up with what are the emerging issues in the food security arena. In addition to the definition that we saw, in addition to the approaches that we have seen in the, in the journal, uh, what else can we do in the next 10 years? And that's what I want to focus on in my, in my discussion. Uh, where does this journal go? Um, so far, Richard and the team has done excellent job. Uh, I can say that because I've been part of that. Uh, as, a, as part of the editorial board and we have been reviewing papers, it's not an easy job to review the papers with the multidisciplinary nature of papers coming to, to the, to, but we have done a wonderful job, Richard, congratulations, and, and, and now uh, Serge is taking over. But what can we look uh, uh, in the future, in the next 10 years, and what are the emerging issues that are coming out, some of which uh, Serge already mentioned, and, and I want to focus on that. So I kind of looked at this in the last uh, couple of months. What is this report telling us in terms of, to do in terms of research, in terms of taking the research out to the, to the people in terms of policy making, and what do the policy makers expect out of this research in order to implement actions on the ground, either in the context of policy or program implementation. And that brings me to the issue of uh, um, the journal itself, how the journal has uh, developed itself into a, a, a journal for a science uh, and, and principles and practice of food security itself. I mean, it was, it was a huge gap that, that this journal filled in the last 10 years. And if you look at the journal papers that are coming out, and they are um, not just individual disciplines, there are some issues with that, I'll mention about that, but then there are more multidisciplinary nature of scientists coming and publishing in one journal, and it's a, it's a, it's a success that, that we didn't see before uh, with the single disciplinary. But the journal also helps us to think through um, how we can use the multidisciplinary nature of the problem of food security or food insecurity, and how do we bring the uh, disciplines together? And But academic disciplines, although the Phytopathology Society has started this journal, um, still academic world is still uh, silos. They are still uh, working on silos, and either in Europe or in developing countries. Uh, um, and that is a problem for us in, t in terms of bringing scientists together to solve problem, not at broad global level, but at the, at the local level as well. Because the problem of food security is, we can talk about it at the global level, but at the, the contextual level, at the agroecological level, it is, it's a local problem. The farmer facing certain set of uh, issues in terms of biological and, and natural resource issues and, and socio-political issues that you talked about, such. So how do we build that kind of capacity at, at various levels, particularly at the local level, is going to determine how successful we are going to be as scientists coming from different disciplines to solve the problem at that level. So that's something that I, I'm raising all the time when I get a chance, because that kind of capacity is missing, not only at the global level, but also at the national and, 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 and the action level, for example. And you go to a district, uh, I was in Nigeria a couple of weeks ago, and at the district level looking at what is this agroecological system system here and how are we going to solve this problem and of course the the disciplinary arrangements come and solve their individual problems and publish in, in their journal and and go home and who is going to pull it pull it all together at that level is a mystery right now and that is the reason why we are still facing a lot of challenges even though the production is there at the global level in terms of food production is there but but at the local level we are still facing anger and malnutrition so that is important in the context and how does the journal can uh, a journal food security can address that how can we bring together can we think about okay a journal uh, paper submitted to this journal should at least have two or three 
uh, disciplines combined together uh, in, rather than just an economic paper. I review economic papers for this journal. But they are purely, they could be published in American economic, uh, uh, agricultural economics. Why is it coming to food security journal, right? That's my question. Then can we set that kind of a parameters for selecting multidisciplinary papers and then practically apply that in the context of building capacity? And then that relates to the programs and policies at the, at the national and global level. So that, that's something that the journal can actually help to think through. So having said that, I would also like to uh, raise uh, uh, the, the journal addresses a wide variety of papers, not only in the context of original papers, the book reviews, for example, uh, uh, excellent reviews uh, that are coming. But can we have a practitioner's column? For example, a district extension worker has tried to solve the food security problem in a, in a, in a context. And can he write or she write? Uh, about the experience of how the sciences were helping him in order to solve the problem at the, at the local level. And, and that would be a useful section, practitioner section, uh, that can be reviewed differently, of course. Uh, but it may not be a highly uh, academic kind of exercise, but learn from the, from the field, kind of. That may be a, uh, just I want to leave that as a suggestion. But you already mentioned about conflict and migration, uh, uh, Serge. I mean, that's something that I wanted to raise. Uh, and um, a large portion of food insecure people right now, they are in the conflict zones. And how do we learn from how they are meeting the food needs and how science is helping them to address the food, food security uh, issues is something that we can expand on. And since you already mentioned, I want to support that as well. And more and more, we are talking about resilience, resilience of the food systems. And, and what does it really mean? How do we, how do we bounce back after, after a shock? And how do we come to equilibrium and then move forward? And uh, they, they are, you're going to expect more research on that area. And we should be also ready to take more papers on that area and maybe get reviewers ready to review uh, papers in, in resilience-related uh, issues. Finally, I just want to leave a thought about uh, the nexus uh, of the energy, energy problem, uh, fuel, food, as well as the finance. And how do we bring that all together in order to solve the food security issues? And my, my own issue of, uh, the, I, I deal with capacity issues all the time on the ground, the capacity of the research systems, capacity of the extension systems, and higher education system capacity. How can we help these systems to build institutional capacity through also having some papers related to institutional development? Thank you very much. <laughs>